What's up, softmon nerds? Have you tried to boot a burn PS2 game with free DVD boot, only to be cock-blocked by the dreaded DVD player is not set up error? Or have you tried to boot a burn PS2 backup with ESR and get stuck at a magenta screen? I'm Professor Skinward, and I have a potential solution for both of these problems. Disclaimer. This is not a tutorial on how to install free MC boot or ESR to your PlayStation 2. This is just a tutorial on how to get around the DVD player error or ESR freezing at a magenta slash black screen. This is also not my original idea. I found this solution on a forum and I can't for the life of me remember what forum I found it on. Probably PS2 Home. Anyway, thank you for whoever suggested this as it is working for me and hopefully will work for you too. The DVD player is not set up error is because you need ESR when trying to boot a free DVD boot or ESR patched ISO, and I found this out the hard way. But what about getting stuck in magenta or black screen after you try to boot a burned backup that's patched and you have ESR installed? The way the PlayStation 2 reads discs is weird to say the least. In my case, I can't just burn a standard PlayStation 2 ISO image to a disc and get it to boot. I have found that you have to fill quote-unquote, the disk with more data, so when you go to burn the disk, the entire disk data is used upon burning. For example, Guitar Hero Smash Hits is 4.3 gigs in total. When you patch and burn it to a disk, it will boot as almost all of the disk data is being burned. This was a stroke of luck for me, as I burned several copies of Guitar Hero 3 that wouldn't boot, and was genuinely surprised when Smash Hits booted with no issues. To do this, you need to unpack your ISO image that you want to burn. I will be using Guitar Hero 3 as an example. To unpack the ISO, I use WinRAR. Open WinRAR and you will see a folder slash drive selection drop down list just below Add, Extract To, etc. Select the drive your ISO is stored on, double click the ISO you want to fix, and copy all of the files into a folder. I have already done this with Guitar Hero 3 and is in a folder on my desktop. Make a folder named whatever you want. I named mine stupid fucking because this process is fucking stupid. Now add filler files to this folder. As you can see, I used a bunch of song folders from Clone Hero as these folders contain chart data and sound files which easily take up space that can be removed or added as needed. Make sure you highlight all the files when you do this to check how big all the files are all together. Highlight the files, right click, and select properties to display how big all the files are. I found that 4.3 gigs is the sweet spot for PlayStation 2 games, so just add and remove files once you get to the 4.3 gigs. Once you have reached the 4.3 gig sweet spot, use Image Burn to create an ISO file with the Frankenstein ISO you've just made. To do this, open Image Burn and select Create Image File from File Slash Folders. Click the folder with the magnifying glass and select the folder that contains all of the game data like so. Select the destination wherever you store your ISO files. Now click Build and let Image Burn build the ISO for you. As you can see, the ISO is now 4.3 gigs. We can now patch this ISO file. You can use ESR Patcher or the free DVD Boot Patcher. I think using ESR Patcher is the best way, as patching with free DVD Boot launches ESR anyway, and the free DVD Boot Patcher only works for some DVD firmwares. Patch the ISO, and we can now burn it to a blank disk. Use Image Burn to burn the new filled ISO to a blank disk. I don't think I need to go over this. I believe in you. Once Image Burn has completed burning your disk, it's time to pop it into the PS2. I'm using a filled Guitar Hero 3 ISO patched with ESR patcher, so I will go into ESR and insert the disk to launch it.
And there we go. Burn backups playing on a PlayStation 2.